welcome students again to rishikul online school of learning now we are heading towards the last of the topics and we are in the module 4 of second chapter from part a book and the book's name is politics in india since independence and the chapter's name is politics of planned development now we all know as i have told you earlier also that huge investments were done in hydroelectric power projects such as bhagranangal dam and hirakud dam on satluj and mahanandi river respectively these outcomes were the outcomes from both first and second five year plans also various heavy industries were set up such as railways electricity steel oil refineries communication etc and as i have told in earlier modules also that in first five year plan we focused on land reforms we focused on new land distribution system now uh, in second five year plan when new land distribution system was adopted then various land sellings were done by the government of india from the feudal lords or big size land holding type of farmers and these land were distributed among the poor farmers now going on further we'll come on to the topic green revolution green revolution is the proposed and organized plan launched to overcome the situation of food crisis in green revolution the big size land holding farmers were provided an aid from the side of government in order to increase the food production as soon as possible in this aid subsidized loans high hyv seeds advanced fertilizers irrigation facilities etc were provided but only to the big size land holding farmers the major outcome from the green revolution was that northern states became the beneficiaries of this proposed plan organized plan such as haryana punjab up and all other left behind also it led to the rise of another peasantry class that is middle sized land holding farmers or mid sized peasants now going on further we'll come on to the last topic that is white revolution white revolution is also known as operation flood it started in 1970 and according to the operation flood cooperative milk producers were organized in a nationwide milk grid with the purpose of increase in milk production and bringing the producer and consumer closer by eliminating the role of middlemen it also assured the regular income to the producers throughout the year it was not just daring as it was seen as the opportunity to generate employment which will reduce poverty further now students module 4 is over and chapter 2 is over thank you very much we'll be meeting in the next modules with new chapters